Let's see. If we put this on here, we get some zip ties or a ratchet strap might work. Oh, hey. Um, nope. Nope. I wasn't doing anything. Maybe it'd be better on this one. Yeah. For sure, ratchet straps. Let's go! I'm Hans, and this is my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all you guys subscribing. It's really helping out my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you guys want to see more content like this, hit the bell button. That's out of the way. Now we are going to talk about these two bikes. What are we going to do with them? For sure, I could get this one done, but this one, I'm waiting on another tire. So let me show you these cool dual sport tires. I love this tread pattern. This thing is super, super cool. That is what we're going to put on both of these bikes. Now I know these are not dual sport bikes, but I also know that I've seen these tires put on these bikes and they look really cool. I've also seen the guys at Bikes and Beards take this bike, put Navi tires on it and take it off road. And they beat the heck out of it for a couple days and it did just fine. I think the suspension on this will handle like just a dirt road. If you had to go down a dirt road, these tires are gonna slide out. I actually had to go off a road to get out of the way of a UPS truck the other day and I almost dumped the bike because it was sliding out. That's the answer right there. So for right now, what I'm planning on doing is putting these two tires on this bike. Then this bike will be done the way I want it to be. There's a couple little things about this one. When we do that, there's like a little air box restrictor thing under the seat. So I got to figure out how to get the seat off and uh, we'll take that little restrictor out and see if we get a little better airflow. This bike, on the other hand, I want to do these tires on this bike. I think they're, I think it's going to look really cool. And this is going to be more of a street fighter bike. So what I'm thinking is to get, this is a seven inch headlight. And I was thinking about putting something like this here. I want to get like a nine inch headlight, like a really big LED headlight, but I want it to look kind of old school like this one, have that kind of old, I don't know, round eighties, seventies look, have that planted right there. This little thing around the speedometer and everything will come off. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. I'm going to remove this brace that's here. Right now, when you turn the steering wheel, the cluster and the light stayed facing forward. Um, nothing wrong with that, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook the headlight up to these forks right here. That's gonna sit under here. I'm gonna try to keep the same cluster if I can. Um, maybe, we'll, we'll, tr we'll do our best. So then we'll put these tires on it, and then this bike is super, super loud. That's the other thing. I'm not a fan of loud bikes. If I lived in a big city and I was in traffic, I get why people have loud bikes. Makes total sense. I live in a little tiny town and the back roads here, there's hardly any traffic. You have a better chance of getting out of the way or whatever it's gonna take. Where'd the headlight go? We've got these tires, the exhaust, and the headlight, kind of the front end assembly to work on. So this one's gonna be a little project tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and get the tires put on this one. We'll go ahead and get all the parts ordered for this one. We're gonna get this one set up with these tires. These are super overkill and it's a lot of aesthetic for me and also being able to ride it on a trail. How cool would that be? The other thing I forgot to mention is that on this one, we have to do fork seals. I was gonna do this. You could see that this, there is shot. There's not much in there right now. There's so many guys already out there on YouTube that are showing you how to replace your fork seals. You guys don't need another boring video showing that. You get it. I'm just gonna have it done um, or we'll do it here and uh, just get it out of the way. If you guys wanna see content like that, let me know. I mean, I maybe you would watch it, I don't know. If you guys have any ideas for this bike, 
feel free to let me know. I mean, if you guys saw something cool somebody else did, send me a picture, whatever it takes. If you have any other ideas for this bike, let me know. They said they could have it done tomorrow. We'll see. I'm super bummed out. My microphone on my GoPro, big gigantic modular microphone head jack thing came loose somehow and I did not get any of the audio when I was riding this bike. It was so awesome though. This bike does so good. Like just the way that it handles, the difference between these tires and the stock tires, night and day. And then if you want to take it off road, I was riding through this gnarly, like loose dirt chop kind of up and down, like bumps and big boulders in the way I didn't hit any of the boulders because there's no clearance on this thing. But I mean, this thing handled so well. Like I was saying, I got out of the way of the UPS driver coming up my driveway the other day and the whole bike the front wheel tried to slide out the back wheel tried to slide out this thing was solid in the dirt and then when i was on my way home i was like ah let's just see how it does in the pasture and i took off actually i was trying to avoid my neighbor coming up the driveway because our, our driveway is so narrow you can't get two cars or even two people hardly to walk by each other so i took off down into the pasture and i never would have done that with a street tire there's is the perfect reason why you need these tires. Go like this, we'll go off road. Who would have thought, man? This thing is awesome. Absolutely no way I could have done that with street tires on here. I would have fallen in my face. I mean, this thing handled perfectly. It was so good. So I'm really sorry. I wish you would have been able to hear me talking because I was actually like laughing and just having so much fun and just going through the dirt and the hitting. I hit a couple jumps. I mean, this thing was off the ground all the way so it was it was really fun but i have to say the way these tires look the way the bike rides everything about it is better the way it's set up now it cost me about 350 bucks to get the tires mounted and buy them and all that but well worth it if this was my daily driver and i was taking this to work every day without a doubt i would do this to the bike even if i never rode a trail if i never took it in the dirt or in the gravel this handles so much better than it did with the other tires on it there's like a little air box 
restrictor thing under the seat. So I got to figure out how to get the seat off and uh, we'll take that little restrictor out and see if we get a little better airflow. I removed that snorkel piece, which was underneath the seat here. And uh, now I don't know. The guy that uh, I saw, he, he actually sent me a text and said that he was able to get his bike to go 75 miles an hour. I don't know if that's downhill with the tailwind or what, but we're going to give it a go and see if that makes any difference at all by taking that off. 65. So that is pretty impressive, I have to say. It took four seconds off of the zero to 60 time by removing this. It is really loud and kind of annoying sounding without having this on there. Um, I'm not sure if that's gonna bother anybody else out there except for me. I like to have it nice and quiet. I'm gonna see if I can modify this a little bit and make it into something else. That's another video. For now, we did a lot today. We got the tires on here. We got an opportunity to go off road a couple times. I had to avoid my neighbor coming up the driveway and that was pretty funny because that's exactly what happened with the UPS driver except for I didn't go all the way down. Um, I just pulled off to the side and I was like sliding out. So this thing handled awesome. These tires are amazing. So I know that it sounds like a lot of money. You probably don't want to do this. This is definitely just something that I wanted to try. And this thing does really good off-road. And I think I'm gonna try that with my CBR uh, 250 as well. Put these tires on it. Even just cruising around on the street with these things, it, it's way, way better than the stock tires that you get with this bike. Um, and they're just a small street bike tire, no big deal. They're probably the cheapest ones you can get. Considering that this bike is so inexpensive, they're not putting super <laughs> spendy, nice tires on them. That's for darn sure. So darn sure they don't do that anyway. So I'm gonna do this, see if I can come up with some kind of solution for this. Cause I do like having a little bit more power coming out of the gate. And uh, I could definitely feel the difference when I was coming back to the neighborhood, I could really feel it, but it was really hard to tell when I was going zero to 60 because slow is slow. Still 18 seconds, zero to 60 is really, really slow. Not as slow as 22 seconds. That's really slow. The one thing I'll share with you is to get the seat off. There is no key. There is no lever. There are two bolts on either side here. So you have to take these little side plates off, get into those bolts, loosen them up, take the seat off. When you're done, bolt it back on. It's not like the end of the world. It's not super hard, but it would be nice if it was just like a lever that you had that locked that you could get underneath there. Typically um, on my bikes, I'll keep my registration underneath there just in case I get pulled over. That way we've got paperwork and I don't get in trouble. So that's it for the KPM video. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. My channel's growing and I really want to do this full time. So. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you guys wanna see more content or get notified for my next video, hit the bell button and you will see me in the next video. Let's